Alright guys, this is Zev here, bringing you another video about the Xperia S. Uh, okay, so now this time around, uh, what I'm gonna do over here is gonna do... Okay, what I'm gonna do over here is that I'm gonna pull up some game tests. So, yeah, nothing much else to say about that, I guess. Uh, let's see, I'll be using a control pad over here though, so fortunately, uh, the Xperia S does support a SciTech Rumble Pad P3200, but unfortunately, uh, for some reason or the other, it doesn't support the Xbox control pad that I have over here, or the, well, the others, but the Logitech Precision over there is supported, but, but that's besides the point, so let's just get going over here. Oh no, miss that. Actually, it might have been a lot easier to actually to try and control this game from the screen itself. Good lord. Using a control on this is kind of hard. Either that or I need to get used to it first. Gah, missed that one completely. I know I'm horrid, don't flame me, alright? <laughs> I don't play a lot of Android games at all. A hundred bucks. Cool. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I guess that makes that for this game. So let's just continue on and... Alright, so the next game that we have over here is Sleepy Jack. This game is apparently very, very controller friendly. Uh, I just had to figure out which buttons are what though. Okay, so I found that one over there. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Normal. Wait, hang on a sec. What button this one? Oh. So the white button is the exception one for this game. Yeah, sure, why not? Normal. Classic. Yeah, just showing you guys how the games will be like from doing this test, I guess. Okay, that's kind of creepy, big-headed kid. Okay, maybe the directional pad will be easier to use for this rather than the analog pad. Watch out, kid with a ray gun.
missed a few Z's there, or Z's. Oh boy, missed that one completely. Well, and I guess that makes that for this. Alright, so back to this page again, and we're gonna try Shadow Gun. Now, this I've tried before, this is totally not external controller friendly, so we're gonna have to use fingers to play this game. So I'm gonna have to apologize in advance if my fingers get in the way and you guys can't see a thing that's going on. Great, is this thing not charging? Oh, no, dude. Well, what's that? What the hell are these things? Well, I just asked, didn't I? At moments like these, I really appreciate being able to use a dual analog joystick right now. Not there, yep. Too close for comfort, I guess, and I guess that'll be just that for this game over here. And I'm gonna click that. Alright guys, so what we have here in the end is Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Now just to take note, this is the control that I'm using over here, and this is the attack button, this is the pause and reverse button, so I'm controlling it this way. So my, I might hit this, so pardon me if that happens, alright? So without further ado, here we go. Let's hope I don't screw up.
Well, that's kind of it, really. The first stage for this is kind of hard to mess up, I guess. And that's why I chose it. And not to get rid of that annoying sound. And, well... Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh... This run-through of the video, I guess. Nothing much else over here. I don't really own any other major games for the platform. And, yeah. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.